The following question is taken from element 6, fire safety, and is covered in 6.1 and 6.3. Describe the consequences of fire in a workplace and outline how ignition sources can be controlled in a workplace. You have eight minutes to answer this question and your time starts now.
This question asked you to describe the consequences of fire in a workplace and outline how ignition sources can be controlled in a workplace. Your answers should therefore have been structured around the consequences of fire on a workplace and control measures for ignition sources. Let's now look at each of these issues individually. The consequences of fire on a workplace are variously death or injury, with the main risks being overcome by gas or smoke, or being burnt, damage to the building itself, which can be severe if there's little or no fire protection, or if the building has poor fire resistance, the loss of both the business and jobs, being underinsured might prevent owners setting up the business again and small companies often can't afford the expense of doing so. Disruption to both transport systems and the neighbourhood where large fires have hazards such as exploding gas cylinders or dust it can often mean evacuating large areas prohibiting people from going into their homes and rerouting traffic outside the area. Firefighting water or asbestos dust can cause site contamination and the, can, there can also be environmental damage to flora and fauna. Ignition sources can be controlled by preventing the uncontrolled use of naked flames. For instance, you can prohibit smoking and turn off cooking and heating appliances when they're not in use. External sparks can be prevented in welding processes by the use of welding screens and by not welding near fuel sources. Electrical equipment and lighting should be maintained to prevent internal sparks from faulty equipment. And equipment should also be ventilated and lubricated as necessary to reduce the risk of hot surfaces from igniting. And static electricity can be prevented by avoiding the pouring of highly flammable liquids and by using anti-static clothing and footwear at work.